Do you like the idea of having multiple builds, but find the process of swapping out your gear and skills too tedious to bother? Well, in today's video, I'll show you how to use the Alpha Gear add-on to swap gear, skills, and fashion with the push of a button, allowing for greater control over your builds and better optimization throughout the Elder Scrolls Online. This will allow you to easily change out your gear and skills between encounters, improving your performance, whether it's DPS, healing, tanking, thieving, or even just showing off at the Vukulgard Way Shrine. Take your gameplay to the next level with an add-on that allows you to quickly equip the right build for every encounter. Welcome back, heroes of Tamriel. I'm Cal, and today we're going to be taking a close look at Alpha Gear, along with the Alpha Style extension. If you're completely new to add-ons in ESO, be sure to give my add-on guide video a watch for more information on add-on management and basic add-on customization in ESO. In this video, I want to focus on the specifics of Alpha Gear and how you can use it to manage multiple builds in the Elder Scrolls Online. Now, before we get started, you can find a link to the Alpha Gear and Alpha Style add-ons by Masoda in the description below. Feel free to install both and follow along as we get set up. By default, Alpha Gear allows you to save gear and skills to different loadouts. Then you can assign a gear loadout and two skill loadouts to a build. You can also assign an outfit to that build. You can then assign hotkeys for each set and pressing that hotkey will equip the gear, skills, and outfit associated with that build. Now, some of you out there might be asking, what about ESO's armory system? Doesn't that do the exact same thing? And the answer is sort of. The vanilla armory system does allow you to save builds and swap between them kind of quickly, but you have to be at the armory station or have an armory assistant. And even with that assistant, it can be tricky to get through the dialogue quick enough in a group dungeon. Oh, and Alpha Gear doesn't limit you to just two builds for free. Create as many builds as you want. Pages and pages of builds if you so desire. All right, let's dive into the settings. First up, the profile slash builds section. I personally like to keep a decluttered interface, so I turn off show build buttons and show equipped build. We'll be setting up hotkeys for our builds, but if you prefer to click to swap builds, be sure to keep show build buttons turned on. I leave the rest of these settings alone. Next up, the gear section. I turn all three of these options off. I don't want the extra interface icons, and I use the auto recharge and repair add-on to repair my gear with repair kits, so I don't want to be spending any gold to auto repair at stores. Now for the weapons. I turn both of these options off as well. I don't need to see the weapon charge icon and my weapons are already getting recharged automatically. If you're not using the auto recharge and repair add-on, you may want to let Alpha Gear handle this for you. Equipment panel. I leave all these settings on the default. User interface settings. I typically prefer to turn off show UI button as I set a hotkey to open the window. But again, if you prefer buttons to click over hotkeys, you should leave this one turned on. It's also a fairly small icon that fits in well with the default interface, so it's not really an eyesore in my opinion. So those are the settings, but we do need to set up some key bindings, or at least I would like to set up some key bindings. By default, there will be no key bind set for Alpha Gear, but I do recommend adding some. I use the T key to toggle the interface, and then I use the numpad keys for each of my builds. If you don't want to bother with key binds for each build, you can always leave the UI button turned on or the build buttons and then click to swap. You'll also want to go into Alpha Gear 2 integrations and enable the style manager if you plan to use it. All right, now that we've got Alpha Gear installed and we've adjusted the basic settings to our preference, let's start saving some builds. For this character, I'd like to create three simple builds. One for running around town and maybe the overworld at max speed. One that optimizes my AOE DPS for trash pulls and dungeons, and a third that optimizes my DPS for boss encounters. I'll be using five pieces of the Order's Wrath set in both of these DPS builds, but I want to make room for the Ring of the Wild Hunt in my around town build and I'll swap out a couple of sets for each of the damage builds. This does mean that I'll be carrying around a little extra gear in my bag, but I think it's a small price to pay to enable me to swap my builds on the fly. In order to create a new build, I'll need to equip all the gear and skills I'd like to save to that build. I'm gonna use the five pieces of Order's Wrath, five pieces of Swamp Raiders, and the two piece Veladreth monster set for this build, along with an AOE focused skill set. Open up Alpha Gear and then right click on the gear bar that you'd like to use to save your gear set and select Insert Currently Equipped. This will save your currently equipped gear to that bar. Then do the same for your front and back skill bars in the skill section on the bottom right. Alpha Gear allows you to save your gear sets and skill bars separately, so you can easily mix and match when you're creating new builds. Now that you have a gear set saved and a couple of skill bars, right click on a build slot in the lower left to edit it. By default, it should be empty, but you'll want to left click on the empty square to the left of the lock icon, and then click on the gear set that you'd like to assign to this build. Next, do the same thing for each action bar. You can give your build a name and then click the note icon if you'd like to assign an outfit or alpha style. If you aren't using alpha style, you should still see the option to select an outfit, 
but with Alpha Style, you can create custom fits that include different collectibles, hairstyles, hats, costumes, pets, personalities, titles, and more. If you take the time to set this up properly, you can actually have a completely different look for each build, and that should make it even easier to identify if you're using the right build for the right content at a glance. Next, let's swap out some of our gear and skills for that second build. I'm gonna reuse the Order's Wrath set for this build, but let's swap out the second five piece set for Sheer Venom, and instead of another monster set, I'm gonna use a couple of arena weapons. Once everything is set, save your new gear set and skill sets, and then create a new build. Give it a name, and we've got our two DPS builds saved. Now, if we're running a dungeon, we can use build one for trash and build two for bosses. After we clear the trash before a boss, I'll just hit numpad two, and in the blink of an eye, I'm optimized for single target damage. After we kill the boss, numpad one, and I'm all set to dish out AOE damage while we make our way to the next boss. It's just that easy. Let's go ahead and set up our third build because I do really like to have an around town build that optimizes movement speed. And I often pair that with some ledger domain focused sets since you'll do most of your thieving in town. All right, so we've got five pieces of night silence, three pieces of the night tear set, and that's all we need for our thieving. Then we've got our ring of the wild hunt for a little speed. And I like to throw on a chest plate of trainee and heavy for some free health and a little extra armor. We don't really need it, but we may as well since there's nothing more important for this build. Skills wise, I'd just throw in some single target stuff in case you need to fight off an NPC when they catch you pickpocketing, but you can also slot in some movement speed skills if you have them and you'd like to. Save your gear set and skill sets like we did before, then add them to your third build slot. And now you've got an optimized build saved for when you're grinding out daily writs or completing pickpocket endeavors. Also great for just running from point A to point B. Now out of the box, Alpha Gear doesn't support saving champion point loadouts but there is a champion point slots extension. I've just found it a little difficult to use and most of the time I don't find it necessary to swap combat champion skills on the fly. That being said, I do recommend using the Jack of All Trades add-on. This one's by Cyberon ESO and amazing. Now, Jack of All Trades is a nice plug and play add-on that will automatically swap your green craft champion skills, depending on what you're doing. So you don't need to worry about creating extra builds or swapping craft slottables. And I only mention it here because I think it pairs pretty nicely with Alpha Gear. It helps keep your character optimized outside of combat once you've reached a high enough champion level to unlock multiple slottable champion skills from the craft constellation. And unlike the combat skills, I do want those craft champion skills swapped out based on what I'm doing, whether that's thieving, crafting, gathering, or fishing, since those slottables do have a large impact. All right, so now that you know how to use Alpha Gear, the sky's the limit. I mentioned that I have eight builds saved on my Warden, those include my Falonesti Scout solo build, which balances speed with damage to quickly mow down overworld mobs and ease travel, my Dark Ranger AoE poison build for clearing trash in dungeons, a Marksman build designed around the Relican set to maximize single target damage, a solo survivability build that is optimized for clearing Vet Maelstrom and Vatishan arenas, my Battleground Warden PvP build, my Turbo Rogue build, similar to the Around Town build we created earlier, full guide linked on screen now if you want more details on that, my Forest Guardian tank build. I may have 64 points in stamina, but with proper tank gear and skills, even this Bosmer makes a passable tank for most content. If I want to get a quick, random, normal dungeon run in, I'll load this build and off we go. And a stamina healer build. I'm never one to shy away from controversial builds, and this one mixes stamina-based heals with group buffs so I can heal in a pinch. So that's how I manage multiple builds in ESO. These add-ons are a little more advanced than the 10 I covered a couple weeks ago in my 2024 add-on guide, but all three are excellent additions to your collection if you're getting a little more serious about ESO. Alpha Gear is also great for testing out new builds, since you can save your work in progress and you won't forget what skills or gear you were using. I realize this might not be for everyone, especially newer players who might still be working on their first build, but it probably won't be too long before you start wondering if one set might be a little bit better than another, or maybe you just want to try out a more thematic build, or you just want to go fast sometimes. Now, I can't wrap up this video without mentioning that there are other add-ons that offer similar functionality. I actually recently switched to Alpha Gear from Dressing Room, but there's also Wizard's Wardrobe, and all three work in a similar fashion if you want to explore your options. I primarily switched from Dressing Room because it no longer seems to be receiving updates, and while it works just fine today in Update 40, there's no guarantee it will continue working in the future. Alpha Gear, on the other hand, still seems to be receiving regular attention, so I feel more comfortable recommending it. That's it for this week's video. Thank you all for watching. What's your favorite build in ESO? Let me know in the comments below. If you happen to be new around here, please consider subscribing to the channel. I love sharing tips and tricks I've picked up over the years playing ESO, and you'll get plenty of that content if you stick around. I do also happen to have a Patreon if you'd like to catch the occasional preview video or support the channel more directly. And you can always find me on Discord using the link in the description if you'd like to chat in greater depth. Until next time, bye for now, everybody.